Hello everybody, Lutz here for life here, bringing you guys another deck profile this time around. It is my Araya deck. I do know that I did mean to do my uh, Shiranui deck next, but however, Shiranui, I've been getting some new cards announced since I last, since I did that Death Row Duel compilation. So I figured I'd wait till those new cards get uh, like on the Death Row and stuff and I can test them out and then give you guys a more complete Shiranui deck profile than just Bill's Turbo with Shiranui stuff. <laughs> so... Araya is honestly probably my favorite uh, Sacred Beast, and it's probably it's probably tied with Rabbi L for my favorite. <laughs> and but however, he's also the easiest to summon in my opinion. I mean, it's arguably also Haman the easiest summon, but however, Araya you can actually build a deck around. So this is basically trap monsters with Araya and stuff. I'm just gonna go over it and kind of detail some stuff. Uh, I play three Araya. He's the main focus of the deck. This guy can get to ridiculously high attack power towards the later half of the duel and stuff. You generally want to save him for uh, towards the end of the duel or uh, like to, like mid, he's he's more of a like final boss monster for your deck. But however, if you have a mounted bound creator out, then go ahead and summon him whenever. Uh, he requires three trap cards, three continuous trap cards, I mean, to be sent to the graveyard to uh, summon him, which automatically puts him at 3,000. Uh, also, he has a nice uh, back row destruction. Uh, you can pop any spell or trap card your opponent controls as long as it's face down, and uh, spell and trap cards cannot be activated in response to his effect. So your opponent can't, like, chain Phoenix Chain. If they want to Phoenix Chain him, they have to do it on his summon, or uh, at any time in between him and using his effect. So... They can't chain to his effect, which is really nice. Uh, card card D, uh, he rarely ever special summon or heck even summon during your main phase or uh, really do much. Uh, most of your stuff is setting and stuff like that. Uh, really the only time you do summon other, during your main phase other than uh, him is Araya. Uh, triple Magic Planner because everything else is a continuous trap just about. Uh, one Terraforming, search out Mound of the Bound Creator. Triple MST because back row is a bit of a pain for for this deck, and then triple mount of bound creator because this basically gives uh, Araya immunity to just about everything. And then uh, I play three Tiki Curse. Special summons itself as a level four uh, dark rock type monster of eighteen hundred attack. Uh, basically, if a trap monster battles an opponent's monster after damage calculation, you can it's automatically destroyed. So if like your opponent has a marshmallow on or something out, just like attack with another one of your uh, counter traps and then um, not counter trap, continuous traps, and it'll automatically destroy the marshmallow on after damage calculation. Uh, triple Imperial Custom because this gives all of your continuous traps, which does include the monsters. Basically, invulnerability. They cannot be destroyed. Your opponent has to do something else to it. Uh, they have to destroy Imperial Custom first and everything. It's a really mean little thing because you can have a whole field of monsters and your opponent can't kill them. Uh, three, Statue of Anguish Pattern. Basically, whenever this thing is, uh, while this thing is out on the field, it has zero attack, 2500 defense. And if a continuous trap monster is special summoned by activating it, uh, you get to pop a card on your opponent's side of the field, or is it just any card? Yeah, any card on the field, so you get to pop anything, and it's a really nice card. It's got a beefy defense, and since it is level 7, you can go for some rank 7 plays. I play 3 Tiki Soul. Uh, he combos with Tiki Curse, actually, and has reverse stats, so he's level 4 of 1,000 attack, 1,800 defense. Basically, if a uh, Gachuda's Trap card uh, that's treated as a monster would be destroyed, you can set it instead of sending it to the graveyard. Um, this can get very annoying for your opponent and stuff, and it's just a really, really nice card. I play two Phoenix Chain, arguably one of the best Continuous Trap cards in the game, arguably. Uh, three Summon of Spirit, he's a, he's a Trap Monster, 1800 attack, 500 defense. Uh, whenever you summon, he's summoned in defense position, and uh, if he is destroyed by battle, uh, your opponent takes damage equal to the attack of the monster that destroyed it. So, like, if they attack over the thing with a BLS, they're taking 3,000 damage, which can do a lot of damage. Or it can also do not very much since he only has 500 defense. Two Robin Goblin. Each time a monster you control inflicts battle damage to your opponent, your opponent discards one random card. This is really mean and can be... Uh, really potent and screw up your opponent's plays depending on what deck they're playing. Now, obviously, if you're playing against Burning Abyss, this could screw over you. But uh, if you're playing against most other decks that really don't like having their hand messed up with, this can get really mean, especially if you have two of them out. <laughs> uh, two Shape Sister. You can only activate her once per turn, but however, she's a level two tuner. She's an Earth, so you can make Bargion and Beast. 
Um, if you're playing some of the Earth ones, uh, you have to kind of play, uh, what was it called? Um, God dang it, uh, Quantum Cat and Swamp Monster? I can't remember what it's called, but Quantum Cat and the Swamp Monster thing. Um, you have to be playing those to really make yourself be some Barkeon. Uh, Shape Sister is nice and all. So you, unless you go for your level sixes, you could also play some of the, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, you can only really go for level six. If there's a level nine, I know there's like Gigan Castle, but it's not really worth it. Um, and you do have access to level sevens with Abyss Stungray, I just realized that. <laughs> Abyss Stungray is a level five, 1900 attack, zero defense, cannot be destroyed in battle. Really nice uh, monster combo as well with the other guys out there, especially Tiki Curse, because you can just keep attacking into high attack power monsters with him and Tiki Curse out. And then one solemn warning to deal with any major summons and stuff like Ophion, BLS, stuff like that. Um, as for the extra deck, uh, let's see here. One, Heartland Draco, because being able to attack directly for 2,000 and finish off that opponent's life points is really nice. Um, Silent Hunter Arc, uh, Ragna Zero, Master Key Beetle, uh, Tiki Curse, and Tiki, oh, Tiki Spirit Slide. Well, Tiki Curse and some of the Spirit are both dark, so you have six targets to go into uh, Master Key Beetle with. Uh, Darker Belly and Exceeds Dragon. Focusaurus, uh, Pleiades, this guy is light, so you can't go to Pleiades. Uh, Tyrus, uh, Big Eye, Dracosac, Metal, well, sorry, Red Eyes for Metal Dragon, I was only reading the Metal part. Uh, Folk and the Divine, Powered Insectron, Iron Chain Dragon, and Goyal Guardian, basically the best ranked uh, level 6s out, although I should really try and find room for Red Wyvern. Uh, then these cards over here I was testing out, but I decided to take them out. Uh, it's fa it's a Fame Betrayer. Basically, it's a Phoenix Chain, but only for Xyz monsters whenever they declare an attack, and your opponent has to mill off three cards from their deck. Really nice card. Then Tyrant Throws, Tribute to what normal monsters in control, and either break a normal or special summon. I believe these guys are... Tr I believe some of these... Uh... Oh yeah, that's right. I was testing this out while I was testing out uh, Embodiment of Apophis, which I believe is treated as a normal monster. But, however, obviously I took it out. So, if you want to play Embodiment of Apophis and Tyrant Strolls, you could. Uh, this is my deck, guys. Tell me what you guys think. Um, I have a lot of fun playing this. It's really nice. Uh, it can get really high attack power, and you can just draw like crazy all the uh, card car and magic planner. And, and it's also really mean. People hate doing against this deck because English Pattern just basically says screw everything you have. <laughs> Um, tell me what you guys think, and uh, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.